y'all welcome back to my channel my name is Tanisha if this is your first time watching and here on my channel I focus on fashion beauty lifestyle with a dash and a sprinkle of DIY so today I want to come to you comfortable because we're talking about prime time TV what I'm watching from Sunday to Saturday because I start my week my Sundays off with television what I watch and what I think that you all should watch and just highlighting some of the shows like hey girls let's watch together because I'm huge like literally on Twitter tweeting about my shows and I will actually include my social media my Twitter down below so y'all can follow me and like we can tweet together because I was huge on post Queen Sugar it's another show I was like really really huge on watching and tweeting or whatever during the their season grownish I was real huge on that so and blackish so I'm gonna go ahead and start with the shows I'm watching I literally wrote everything down because like I watch a lot of television and sometimes I feel like I'm forgetting like important parts so Sunday September 8th actually today but this video will be coming out after i have married to medicine Mar married to medicine comes on bravo so married to medicine follows like all of my fave doctors dr heavenly dr simone dr jackie dr cone tessa because sorry contessa because heavenly said like that i cannot say otherwise so got those and then we'll also we have quad toya and mariah the wives of their doc of the doc of other doctors quad is not married to to greg no more so but she's still on there thank goodness because they tried to say like oh she doesn't need to be on here because she's not a doctor quad ain't going nowhere so you follow their personal life and also the drama that they have between the ladies throughout the season it is so entertaining and i love 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 Mary to medicine Mar Mary to medicine is actually on their seventh season going to monday mondays i have a show it starts october 7th and it's all american and all american it comes on the cw and it's based on a true story actually so billy baker who, who is the coach he is played by tay diggs and spencer who is a British actor. I found that out during a interview that I watched that he was, um, that was about him. Basically, Spencer lives, I believe in the Crenshaw area, correct me if I'm wrong below, my bad, um, in a more urban area. And Billy Baker is from that area, but he, used to play professional football and he lives in more prominent more white area rich area and he goes in to this area into where spencer is playing football where he lives and basically uproots spencer be like hey come play for us because billy was coaching a kind of struggling area not guess not struggling air a struggling football team so he was coaching them he brings spencer in but you find out that like, their lives actually intertwine and you think that you're trying to figure out something i don't want to try to say everything you're trying to figure out something else when it's a whole nother issue at hand and that's what you found out at the end of the season I started watching the show because I watched it on Netflix. I actually binge watched the show. It's an hour long show. The acting, I'll be honest, to me is not the best, but you get hooked because of the storyline. So that starts October 7th and that will be in its second season. Going on to Tuesday, I believe Tuesday will be my actual favorite because my ish show start. So, I mean, meaning mixish and blackish. Mixish is a spinoff of Blackish and it is Rainbow's story. So it is Andre's wife, Rainbow, and basically shows how she grew up as a mixed child, black and white. She grew up on a commune, it gets raided, and then she's back to regular civilization with everybody else. 
and how our family has to learn to adapt to being normal Americans, basically. So that shows her life that starts at nine o'clock on ABC and then at 9.30, the, the Johnson clan is back. So we have Zoe, Jack, Junior, Diane, Rainbow, Andre, all coming back and they're up to like their normal stuff. Pretty sure that they'll be coming with some heavy hitting topics they did in their last couple of seasons, which they did exceptionally well, I believe. So, don't care about the critics. Um, one thing I do like about Blackish is that you, if you've never watched Blackish, it's easy to follow. The one episode from the previous week won't be like the one that will be on on that the next week. Forgot to mention, both of these shows start back on September 24th, and Blackish is actually in its sixth se season. So, clap it up for them. Also, I'll be setting my DVR for this one, and it is This Is Us. And This Is Us, I believe, comes on NBC, and it actually starts at 9 o'clock. It's an hour long show. So, it follows the Pearson family, Jack and Rebecca, and their family so it's three kids it is kevin kate and randall and randall is the black child that everyone knows and randall does the most amazing like when he has to like do, do his monologues and his crying amazing i love that show i just don't watch it when it comes on because i love blackish and blackish i think it normally came on at nine o'clock so I always watch that. But they just basically go on about their family, their family dynamic, how the father, he actually dies. Um, I don't wanna say that much just because you never watched the show. It is actually in sports season. And their seasons are pre like pretty long. So if you need, need to catch up on this show, I will probably give you a month. So what I like about This Is Us, they is in present day so present day 2019 18 19 whatever with us now but they do a whole bunch of flashbacks back in like i think like the 60s 70s when the kids were younger and also when the father was alive and it kind of the flashbacks resonates with what actually is going on in present day so that's on NBC. It start that also starts on September 24th as well. So on Wednesdays, I'm watching Black Ink Compton. It's part of the Black Ink series with Black Ink New York and Black Ink Chicago. And that already started. It actually started in August. So um, Black Ink Compton is set basically in Compton, California. And its shop owner is KP and he is looking to open a shop, the first tattoo shop in Compton. And he's doing that with the help of a couple of friends and I actually adding on new tattoo artists. Um, whew, trying to make sure I'm remembering everything. He is the boyfriend of Kyla Pratt. If you don't know who Kyla Pratt is, she is the voice of Penny. Was the actually um, Proud Family is actually coming back, so she is the voice of Penny Proud. Also, was the daughter of Flex Alexander on One on One. She played in Love and Basketball and countless other films and other television shows. So yeah, she is his girlfriend and yeah she's his girlfriend it's pretty much going to be like any other black ink show one thing i do like about this show is like literally you see in the beginning like oh we we can't open unless we have the blessings from the gangs it shows like a whole another other aspect of trying to do something in your own hood, actually trying to better from where you're from. He could open a shop anywhere, but he chose to come back to Compton, where he's from, to actually open shop, which I feel like that is amazing in its own. 
Third set, I'm heading over to Wee TV. This show starts on September 26th, and I'm watching Untold Stories of Hip Hop. And like the title says, it's telling the stories that have not been told in hip hop. And they'll be having other um, music icons, people in music stop boxes to share their stories. On Fridays, Fridays is the day for me to catch up on shows I have not watched, watch new shows, and also see what's going on on Hulu and Netflix. So on Hulu, I'm going to check out Wu-Tang and American Saga, which actually came out, I believe, September 4th. And it is, show, it is following the life of the different members of the Wu-Tang Clan and how they came together and just showing their story. And that actually has three episodes on Netflix. I already watched this, but I want to like share this with you because I think this is an amazing show. And I feel like I don't understand why Bravo or E did not like pick up this show and styling Hollywood and it has Jason Bolden and also his husband Adair. I love his name. And it is following their life. Jason being the stylist and Adair being an interior designer. They come together and they make Jiggis in studio. So you follow them and how they style black hollywood and others in hollywood but they put so much emphasis which i love on black hollywood and black girl magic and how they put together their their favorite stars their friends you see Tarashi p henson you see yara shahidi you see who my favorite duvernay you see gabrielle union you see so many of your favorite names on there and he actually styles his fave serena williams so it's definitely a must see and it's not that many i think it's like between eight to ten episodes and it's like i believe only 30 minutes long so you're able to watch that show i believe i've been binge watched it so i was able to watch it in one weekend so it only took me two days to watch it i'm a homebody so i'm able to finish it that quick shows i've watched and i feel like you should definitely watch and you can binge watch it because i binge watched this show its first season pose on netflix a amazing show give them their flowers they deserve all the awards in the world pose like when i tell you it is amazing it follows the the ballroom culture and of the black and latino lgbtq community and you have the house of ferocity house of um evangelista you have so many different houses the house of winter you have so many different houses different women different men you follow their stories and you follow their i don't know how to say this you follow their they're, the way that they're trying to change their outlook on the community, try to strengthen their community, try to find a way to go and get their voices heard. It, it's, it's an amazing show. My favorite is Angel. I've been able to watch, actually um, hear her speak. She spoke at... Um, the fashion house at um during essence festival such a gorgeous individual she fights for trans rights and um like it's not it's it's an amazing show and i don't want to say so much to give away the show but season two has took me on a whole roller coaster ride such a, such an amazing show like I think the show started maybe, I think maybe June, in the June, and it finally went off in August. I hated to see that show go off because like, that was my Tuesdays. So definitely check that, off, that out. Um, it should be on your on demand. I don't think season two has hit Netflix yet, but I'm pretty sure it's gonna hit it. It actually came on FX. So definitely check that out. Also, my other fave, my fave, fave, Queen Sugar. 
this season lord jesus jesus took it was like literally jesus take the whole wheel and then some whew, nova wrote a book and Ooh, and the whole season was about the book and how the book literally changed each and every person's life and had effect on each and every, every person. And Nova's book even had effect on Nova. But sorry, didn't tell you what the show is about. The show Queen Sugar follows the Borlong family. See how they live following the death of their father, which happened in the first season. And something I like about Queen Sugar is Queen Sugar actually touches on a lot of the major events that's going on, racism for one. They really go hard on talking about that. They talk that this season they talked about um basically what was going on at the border, how they were going in, getting people undocumented immigrants. They actually touched about on that on one episode. So basically you're following the life of all of the Borlong family and also the people that they actually bring on. On Saturday, I'm watching Love and Marriage Huntsville which is on the own network and in second season i did not know they was going to come back for a second season because like normally like reality tv you feel like they're gonna have like a reunion like they're gonna do like more of a follow-up so they're coming back for a second season which i'm very excited um it's located the show is filmed in huntsville alabama it follows three married couples and one thing I like about them is that they're trying to give back to the community. Um, they have a group called the Comeback Group, and they're trying to build homes for low income in Huntsville. But you know, this cannot come without drama because they're trying to get together, get this done, and it is awfully hard. Also, they're dealing with things in their personal lives, like infidelity and all those other things. Extremely interesting. In interesting. And it's a definitely must watch because like the type of stuff that some people be dealing with on this show is unimaginable. I'm like this, can't be me. So definitely watch that on OWN. And then right after um, Love and Marriage Huntsville is Black Women Own The Conversation. And I love this show, it's because they take the show here in Atlanta and they each show has a different topic so they covered love already beauty and motherhood and the next episode will be mind body and soul so they have other like celebrities come and they speak their piece but also they let the audience speak as well so it's a huge conversation with nothing but black women and it is like one of those shows that you should watch with your your girl tribe and just talk and have a conversation about so that comes on right after love and marriage so love and marriage comes on at nine o'clock on own and then at 10 o'clock black women on the conversation comes on and that's an hour long as well also this is a show i love 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 like i love black women on the conversation it is a four part series. Unfortunately, it comes on at the same time as Black Women on the Conversation. So I end up watching the rerun, which they show right after the show comes on. It's about her business and comes on BT Her. And I'm excited about this show and this um, four part series because it is the content that we all want from BET Her. It's the content that they should be showing. It's the content that women, girls need to see because of these women, the companies that they own are something that we should see, something that we should be investing in. And they're taking the industry by, industry by storm and they're changing the narrative in, of the inter, industry. Um, two episodes came on on the 7th and um two 
two brands that I know I shop and I've eaten what's on there and it was Slay Vegan. If you have not gone to Slay Vegan in Atlanta, it's a vegan restaurant. They show that owner, which is female, of course, and they show Super Scent, Wazam Super from, from the Crayon Case and just hearing their story about how they started and hearing these other women's stories about how they started is amazing. I definitely believe that you, you should watch and I don't know if it's going to be on demand but I know BET has their own streaming platform so I know they're going to show it on there. So definitely, definitely, definitely watch about her business. I believe that we all can learn something and, and draw some type of inspiration from watching that and also XO Nicole was on there as well. Nicole Kane. <sighs> Love her. I actually went to both her events that that she had here, which was pajama pajamas and lipstick and also the Elevate Her Crawl, which I have a video um on my channel about that please watch that if you didn't if you have it i'll link that up in the cards and yeah she was on there as well i cannot believe i forgot to even mention her but yes it shows her story how she just watch it because i can't i don't want to give y'all everything so yeah that is everything that i have that i'm watching from starting sunday all the way into saturday um, I will actually, like I said, I will leave my Twitter name in the description box below so that you can follow me and I'll follow back and we can all talk and like talk TV. I was extremely active, like I said, during Queen Sugar Pose, Grownish. Yeah, I was extreme, extremely active and Married to Medicine, I'm about to be super active because I actually love that show. So please um, comment some shows that you're watching below. I know people are going to say they're watching, um, what's that 50 Cent show? Power. A lot of people I know they're gonna say they're watching Power, Greenleaf. I'm gonna try to get into Greenleaf. I didn't mention it, but I'm gonna try to get into Greenleaf. My mom said that I can like start watching it and then I'll know what like, I don't have to watch the other season and what's going on. So, I know it's going to be a lot of shows that y'all are mentioning that i probably not watching. So, I may, like, start watching it. So, comment those down below. Make sure you like and subscribe so that you don't miss an upload. And tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend also to subscribe as well. And I'll see y'all in my next video. Bye, y'all.